My name is Gregor Larson. I'm an evolutionary biologist in the Department of Archaeology at Oxford University. And my particular ERC project is about studying the evolutionary history of domesticated animals and their relationship with people. When people often ask why did we start domesticating plants and animals, it implies or suggest that it was a very intentional process, that people actively set out to domesticate plants and animals. And uh, what a lot of the evidence is now suggesting is that it wasn't that intentional. It looks like very much it's an evolutionary process whereby, at least at the beginning, there's no intentionality and it becomes a sort of uh, codependent relationship between many of the plants and many of the animals and people. The important point is that it didn't have anything to do with foresight. It didn't have anything to do with people wanting for this to be the end. Why on earth is the very first domestic animal something that's a, a carnivore and a predator with big teeth? I mean, you were probably competing with an, this, or this animal on the landscape. And so how is it that we formed a port partnership with dogs when you know, they're, they're quite dangerous? And they're still dangerous today. They kill lots of people every year. For 200,000 years of human history, we existed on this planet without domestic animals or domestic plants. It's only been in the last 15,000 years that we've started this relationship with a wide range of animals and a wide range of plants and that has changed absolutely everything. It's changed uh, the nature of civilization, it's allowed seven billion people to exist on the planet when before there was just a couple of million and it's meant that we now have uh, an enormous range of technologies that were never available and it's also had a big influence on our biology so we can many of us can drink milk now which was never possible for the first 185 or 190,000 years of our history. So so it's had a big impact on both our biology and our culture, and without domestic plants and animals, we certainly wouldn't be here today.